Hi there, I'm Sherry. I'm the owner of GreatDayHealthAndFitness.com. I'm a certified personal trainer and certified weight loss coach. And in an effort to be um, a really good weight loss coach, I want to try out all the current diets. And so the first one I'm going to do is the Paleo diet, also known as the Whole30. Uh, some of my friends have tried it and they loved it, so we'll see. Um, as you probably know, you're not allowed to have any kind of wheat or dairy on this diet. And uh, there's all kinds of other things that are off limits. So, just got back from grocery shopping and my morning trip to my favorite cafe that has awesome scones. So, I didn't eat all of my scones, so I guess the squirrels are going to get that. Goodbye, scones. Okay. Let's see what I got here. All right, I got some meat. That's kind of something you got to have on paleo. I got a little uh, chuck steak, and I got a turkey brat. Turkey bratwurst are awesome with kimchi. So um, kimchi is on the diet, fortunately. And I got a turkey tenderloin. What I like to do with that is just uh, put it in a cornmeal dish, sprinkle a little garlic powder and onion powder and thyme on it cover the dish and bake it for an hour. I check it about halfway through and um, see if it needs any moisture. Um, sometimes it can get kind of dried up, but usually they're pretty good if you just leave the cover on it. Um, so after about an hour you check it and see how done it is. It might need to stay a little longer. So 350 degrees on that. Um, it makes really good sandwich... Oh crap. Ah, no sandwiches. Anyways, it makes a good snack and the dog likes it too. So, okay, got the meat stuff. I already got my eggs for the week. I've also got some shredded, unsweetened, organic coconut. I guess that's for breading things. I um, also got some almond meal for breading. Um, I usually bread my fish with uh, some Canco breadcrumbs, but this will probably be really good. I also put in a little uh, pinch of uh, dried mustard, some tarragon, some garlic powder, and uh, sprinkle that on both sides and then just bake it in my toaster oven for about maybe 17, 18 minutes and check to see how done it is. Uh, that works great with salmon, uh, tilapia, and, um, and cod. So, okay, uh, some little uh, tomatoes for salads. I got a yam, that's allowed. No more regular potatoes though. Onion's gonna come in handy. Some cabbage. I think I'm going to make some soup later on. And uh, red bell peppers. Those are nice and sweet. That will be a good snack. And some marinated artichokes. Um, those will be good on salads. I got almond butter because uh, peanut butter is off limits. So I hope I like almond butter. Avocado for salads. Broccoli. Broccoli, by the way, usually needs butter on it, but the way I make it is I sprinkle some um, garlic flakes on it and some uh, red hots, those little hot peppers you get on pizza, and uh, cover it in a uh, corningware dish and microwave it for seven minutes, and it's really tasty. It doesn't need butter, so that'll be all right. Green pepper for stuff. Um, I like to make hamburgers with chopped up green peppers and onions and an egg and cracker crumbs, but I guess I'm going to be making it without cracker crumbs from now on. But um, I make a, bunch, a whole pound of hamburger, make it into patties, and fry it up, and, uh, and then just put them in the refrigerator so I've got an easy dinner um, every night of the week instead of having to think about what I'm going to make. Also, coconut aminos. I guess that's the replacement for soy sauce in this diet, so we'll see how that is some dried organic apricots for snacking, some dried organic apples for snacking, and some Larabars. Um, the coconut cream pie Larabars are pretty darn good, and they're just made with all natural stuff, including dates for sweetness, so that'll be my little go-to snack. Okay, what next? Uh, potato chips. I buy potato chips. The squirrels are gonna get the potato chips. Then I've got some, let's see, this is a peanut roll from Linda's Bakery. I went there in a moment of weakness the other day, so it's kind of dried out now. So, squirrels, yay. 
And uh, let's see, I've got a piece of cake left over from Linda's Bakery. Well, no more cake. Bye bye, cake. <laughs> I didn't think about shoving that in my mouth when I was still trying to talk during my video. Mm. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, visit my website, www.greatdayhealthandfitness.com. Thank you. Wish me luck on paleo. Bye-bye.